We did it. We made it. We are now in 2024. It is January 2nd. Uh, can you even see that? It is January 2nd of 2024. And we're here. I mean, the channel is still thriving. I'm, I'm still in the mood. I'm still feeling it. I'm still... I feel like I'm just getting started. Like, I've been... Realistically, I've been doing this for a while because as I've said in previous videos, I have made videos since I was in the sixth grade and I didn't have the proper setup. I didn't have the proper consistency. I didn't have the proper anything up until February of 2021. And even then I didn't have consistency until this 2023. <laughs> For this video, I just need 15 minutes of your time. I'm estimating this video maybe like 10 to 15 minutes, maybe a little over by two minutes, but that's about it. I'm, I'm, I'm probably even going to double upload for you guys, just so that this isn't your only video, but I wanted this to be my first video of 2023. My, my major plans, my goals, and the things that I want to see happen, because after all of the, all the support, all the comments that I was getting from new subscribers and even returning subscribers, it, I'm speechless because being so new to this, new old to this, when I actually put effort into my videos and I'm actually seeing that you guys are enjoying it or when I'm seeing new subscribers coming in and they're like, oh my God, this guy's he's so underrated. Like, how am I just now finding you? I, I feel like I'm saying the same thing every time I get those kind of comments. It's like, you guys have no idea how much I appreciate it. That. And that's true. Everyone who comments stuff like that, you have no idea how much I appreciate it. And sometimes I'm like, how do I how do I reword my appreciation so that it doesn't come off that I'm just typing the same thing? <laughs> because I really do appreciate it, but I also there's no other way for me to really show my appreciation other than to just keep doing what I'm doing, keep giving you guys the best kind of content that I can give you. Uh, I don't know. It's um, it's quite quite the experience for sure. It's uh, something that I'm. I'm adjusting my mic. Give me a second, because I'm not yelling over a game. It's I don't think it's really picking up my audio that well when I get super quiet. For 2024, I really want to grind. I really want to put in that work. I want the consistency to continue. I'm doing a video every other day. Let's say like today is Tuesday. I'll record today, and because I actually have a full-time job that I have to do, I'll take my game file or I'll take the video file and put it on my laptop to which I will then edit while I'm at work. So I'm still putting in that work while I'm making that work, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I, I want that consistency to continue. I will record and edit on the same day, and then the day after will be a post. So for the time being, while I'm still working a full-time job, you guys are never gonna be able to get a video back to back because it's just kind of difficult for me. And with the way that my work schedule is my full-time job, it's very hard to come home from work and start recording another video because my full-time job is very taxing and I get off super late. So it's just one of those things where I don't wanna come home but I want to, I want to, I still have that fire in me. I still have that dog in me. I still have that grind. And I, I at least want to keep that consistency going. I want to, I want to make you guys proud. I want to make myself proud because this is just something that I've always wanted to do. And I hope that it shows in the work that I put in. So how am I going to keep that consistency? How am I going to stay consistent? How am I going to, to make up the plan? I mean, by just doing what I've been doing it. I didn't really get a consistent schedule until I was finishing up Life is Strange. I think I had maybe like two or four chapters left to finish. And I was like, what's the what's the best way for me to get this game out to people and still be able to do other games as well without it? Because at that point last year, Life is Strange True Colors had been out for two years. It came out in 2021 and I didn't finish it until 2023, the summer of 23. So that just shows you how same thing with resident evil it came out in march of this year or may whatever and i hadn't finished it until seven months later spider-man came out in october i'm still in the middle of playing the game i don't even know if i'm halfway done but i i want to have better consistency with games as they come out and when they come out when a game drops i want to have it 
the the day of the week of and i want videos to be out with a consistent schedule because a lot of the time i like i uh, again like i've said before i don't have at least i don't think i have the community to record for hours and and upload two hour videos because i've been told by other people that even an hour and a half close to two hours is just too long but it's very hard to keep up with a story-based game or keep up with the gameplay so that it stays relevant and i'm still enjoying it if i'm doing 30 minute videos 45 minute videos because a lot of those games people always bring up the pre-modern gaming era of youtube they always go oh you know a lot of youtubers start off with 12 minute videos a lot of youtubers start off with those 20 minute videos okay sure so tell me what youtuber you know could make a valid series of like god of war ragnarok or spider-man 2 H how do you make that work in 12 minutes i've been recording for seven and i feel like if i were playing a game right now i would have done nothing maybe maybe that's just me i like to actually take my time i like to actually enjoy what i'm playing but I also want to enjoy it with you guys. And so if, if that means cutting down my my enjoyment so that we can get 12 minutes of a game, how do you how do you make that sustainable? So I, I've been kind of on my Miles Morales shit and I've been doing my own thing. I've just I consistently record however long I want or however long I feel is necessary. And I, I roll with it. A lot of you guys, I look at the audience retention. Some of you guys make it 7, 15 minutes in. Cool. Not a not a big deal. You'll watch what you want to watch for however long you want to watch. And if you do come back to my videos, awesome. I don't mind that at all. But consistency is definitely something that I, I want to work better on. Because it shows that consistency will help with growth. Ever since I've been consistent with the games that I play and how often I upload I've been seeing an increase in my subscriber count I've been seeing an increase in the community and I like that I, I like I like seeing that I like feeling I like uploading a video every other day and then rushing to go check and see like how many views it's got how many likes are there any new comments comments are always my favorite to read especially from the new subscribers because it'll be unexpected I'll get it and then it's just, my heart it kind of gives my heart like a little bit of a jump I don't know how to explain it. I feel like a lot of people aren't really gonna understand that excitement un until they are a content creator or until they have experienced that themselves. It's just being a small creator is, is challenging. It definitely does have its days where I'm like, kind of what is the point? And with, I don't know, sometimes you feel like the downfall of social media could be any day now. And this has always been a dream of mine. I remember I dreamt so much of being in YouTube Rewind. <laughs> and I even said to myself one day, I was like, by the time I'm big enough to be in YouTube Rewind, there won't be a YouTube Rewind. And sure enough, YouTube does not do it anymore. I think 20, 2020 was 2019 or 21 was the last time they did a YouTube Rewind. And there wasn't one in 22. There wasn't one in 23. My hopes of being in a YouTube Rewind are are gone. But social media is kind of different. Because it's one of those things where we're now in a generation where social media is everywhere. It affects everything. And I don't know how long gaming YouTube will be around. I don't know how long the staple of being a content creator is going to be a sustainable job. But there's just a lot of things as a content creator that are kind of scary. You look at it and you're like, will this last forever? I, I just want to, I want to try to live in the moment. I want to actually enjoy what I'm doing now, but I'm hoping that I can ride this for a while. I'm hoping that I can be a successful content creator and that I can continue to grow my audience and continue to talk to you guys like this or whether my face is in a little corner with the game taking up most of your screen. Either way, I, I want to do this. This is what I want to do. So with 2024, I'm going to be grinding 2020 more. How does that sound? <laughs> How does this? I'm thinking like a hashtag grind 2020 more. Like it's a play on words of grind of 2024, 2020 more. 
I, I'm workshopping it. If it sucks, it sucks. But please let me know because I'm thinking like that, that's a pretty good hashtag. Hashtag grind 2020 more. Come on, man. I thought of that last night when I was thinking of this video idea of just what exactly I was going to say. And I, I haven't even hit all the points that I wanted to say. I don't make scripts for these kind of videos. I don't do these kind of videos often. But when I do, I just want to talk from the heart, which is why I don't make a script. And then that's when it just is all over the place. I, I want to just do more, you know? I don't just want to play horror games. There's there's a lot of games that I've been adding onto my list of things that I want to play for the channel. A lot of stuff that's coming up. Uh, Bennett Foddy's Baby Steps. That game looks fun. Bennett Foddy's the same guy who made um, Getting Over It. You basically forget how to lose how to use your legs, and it looks like it will be a fun experience to play on the channel. There's a lot of other games that are in my Steam wish list that just have really beautiful uh, art design and a, a story that I want to try out that aren't horror games because I gotta I gotta start expanding my horizons. Horror games are what get people invested because people like to watch people scream and get scared for some reason. You guys are weird. You're you're, you're weird. You're weird for wanting that. But I get it. I get it. I have my favorite YouTubers that I like to watch. A lot of them I started watching when they were playing horror games. Most of my YouTubers that I started watching were because of the Five Nights at Freddy's era back in 2014. I don't know, even even those YouTubers that, that do play or that started off with the horror games, they, they play the mundane, the comedy, the casual. And I'm, I've been trying to look for games like that on Steam and Itch.io and it's just there's a there's a higher demand for horror games so it's not very often that you will see the funny the casual on really any gaming channel because people just really like to watch others scream for some reason but keeping up that consistency doing more um i'm hoping to get a lav mic so that i can start doing vr games i'm planning on i still have a an oculus quest one it, it wasn't meta quest when i had it it was an oculus quest and I'm planning on getting the MetaQuest 3 or Oculus Quest 3, whatever you want to call it. It's a it's a VR headset. And I'm planning on getting a lav mic so that I can start doing VR videos. Those are something that I've always wanted to do. Just getting out of my comfort zone, you know? Uh, I massively upgraded my PC setup earlier in 23. Like August, September, I was buying a lot of parts for my computer and i feel really good with what i've got i wasn't able to get the highest of graphics cards i don't i'm not rolling in bread at the moment i'm not rolling in money uh, and I, I don't think that i ever really will i mean the hope is to everybody has hopes to live comfortably and to be able to buy what they want and still have money left over to survive but i like to stay humble and being humble does not mean bringing yourself down or doubting that you can do something but when it comes to money it seems like everything is just getting more and more expensive like I, is that just me i don't know money is just it's a it's a weird concept within 2024 i also want to have more more audience interaction i want to interact with you guys more through comments through voting polls and just like in general i don't exactly know how to set up a discord server to talk with you guys would talk to talk with my audience uh that seems like a lot of work and i might have one of my friends explain that to me as to how i would do that but i also do have a twitter and an instagram account if you wanted to follow those i don't post on twitter as much as i should i don't twitter is always a weird place it's it's definitely not the same anymore instagram i never really take pictures of myself or of anything i don't have that interesting of a life so it's kind of difficult, but it would still, it would give me more motivation to do those things if I had an audience to interact with outside of YouTube. Just like having an audience here motivates me to continue making these videos, having an audience on other platforms like Twitter and Instagram and TikTok would help me do more on those platforms. Does that make sense? Like if I know that people are liking and commenting on my tweets, I'm going to be more inclined to say things to tell you guys, you know, how my day is going, what I've been up to, but it's kind of like streaming when you're, when you're streaming, you're talking to nobody until 
maybe one or two people pop in and it's very rare that they'll actually stay for longer than a minute <laughs> but with youtube it's different because i know that i'm talking to nobody right now because there's nobody in here but when i post the video it always has an opportunity for people to come by that video and to watch it for however long they're going to watch it or to like it if they feel and i just feel like streaming is so different because you can go two to five hours and have nobody show up and then unless you keep unless you decide to keep that stream up nobody's going to see it if you're a small streamer i i don't know i don't want to discourage anybody who's actually trying to be a streamer rather than a youtuber because i feel like this is what's easy for me i don't like streaming because i prefer this i prefer editing my videos i prefer you know watching the comments roll in rather than sitting and talking to nobody for hours I just the long and the short of it is i would like for more audience interaction and i i'm not asking you guys to comment more or to talk to me but that's the hope i i would hope that you know any new subscribers who are more i guess media extroverts is what i'm gonna i'm gonna call that media extroverts like people who are more willing to comment on a video than those who would just watch it because i'm i'm kind of the same way i will watch a youtuber's video and then i'll maybe like it I'll, I'll maybe you know comment but it's very rare that i actually do that because i i would see myself as more of like a social omnivore or a media omnivore you know i can I'll like a video if I genuinely enjoy the video um, or I don't know. I'm one of those people that likes a video if the YouTuber asks me to like the video. <laughs> but I, I find it very rare that I'll ever comment on a YouTube video. And I know that other people are the same way. So it just it just takes time, time, consistency and a little bit of spice in the mix. Sometimes those are those are the big three um, taking my time to you know, really get my flow and really understand my audience, really understand what you guys like to see, keeping consistency so that I can give you guys what you want to see. After this video, I'm going to go and record a Spider-Man video because I need to get back into that game. 2024 is going to be a big year for me to really find myself as a, as a person and a content creator. It's going to be a year for me to hone my craft. I want to be able to find uh, ways to edit my videos that people will look and be like, Durr! Durr! I had a comment one time, uh, that said that my videos were really like high quality for a small creator. And, and like I said, the same thing with people telling me that like, I'm underrated in that, like, you know, how did they just find me kind of thing that that comment actually stuck with me because I, I like to take my time when I edit my videos. That's why I'm editing for hours a day is because I'm actually, I'm watching through the video and I'm thinking in my head, even while I'm recording, I'll say something and I'll be like, in my head, there's there's like six million different like things going on in my head. But there's, there's one part of my brain that's like, okay, okay, remember that you said that and then remember what could be funny to go with that. It, it's kind of like putting puzzle pieces. It, editing is a whole Tetris game in itself. It's It's so much fun to record a video and then to think while you're recording what could be the best the best effect that you can put over something or the best meme edit that you could throw in there to give it a little bit of comedy a little extra comedy i don't know i i think at this point i'm rambling on a little past my my expected mark so i'm gonna try to wrap it up just know that 2024 is going to be the year we were so close to reaching the 500 subscriber mark in 23. I ended the year with 391 subscribers. That's that's a little over, a little, just a little over 100 away from 500, which is our first milestone in case you didn't know. If you are just now tuning into this video, if this is my first video of mine that you're ever watching, I do have a little bit of something in the back of my videos. This, this guy right here, that is the milestone headpiece. And I, I've talked about this a lot, uh, but in every with every milestone that we hit, every major milestone that I set for myself, I will go live for X amount of hours in a day and I'll say, okay, 
we're gonna decorate and destroy this thing until you know the live stream is over or whatever i don't exactly know how i'm gonna do it yet but i want that to be our thing i want by the time we reach that million subscriber mark one day hoping and praying that million subscriber mark that we can look at the milestone headpiece and look at the destruction look at the beautiful art that we have made together because it's going to be one of those things where when i go live i'll be like okay who wants to do what it'll be like a it'll be a unanimous vote like i'll have to see a whole bunch of people saying that we do this and i don't know i just want it to be a community thing that we can all work on together grind 2020 more if you made it to the end of this video thank you for taking the time to actually watch through all of this thank you for listening to me talk about my hopes and dreams for this new year and thank you for joining me in 2023 whether you just subscribed a month ago whether you've been subscribed since the beginning of 23 thank you because you don't you don't need to do that there's millions of other youtubers out there that are doing the same thing and some of you choose to subscribe to me and to watch me to tune into my videos tune into my stupid personality stupid reactions i really wish that there was more that i could say than other than thank you because i wouldn't be doing this if it weren't for those comments or if it weren't for the fact that this has been something that i've always wanted to do for so long and and even on my days when i'm feeling like you know what's the point or even on my days when i don't feel like recording even though i need to i always scroll through those comments I always scroll through some of my old videos and just look at how far I've come and think, how can I stop now? I'm, I feel like I'm on a roll. How can I stop? I, uh, I gotta get out of here. I gotta, I said I wanted 15 minutes of your time and I'm about to take 50. <laughs> I'm excited for this year. I'm excited to see what, what we can make of it. I'm excited to see how far we can go. And I'm excited to to do one of these videos every year. At the start of every year, I want to make my my goals and my predictions for every new year. So 2024, it, it was a bit of a it was a bit of an all over the place kind of video because I don't exactly know what I want my solid goals to be yet. I just know that I want to be more consistent or can keep up with consistency because I'm pretty consistent already. But I want to keep up with that consistency. I want to. Uh, you know take time to really get to know myself as a content creator and as a person and get to know you guys as my audience and I want more audience interaction I want to be able to really talk to you guys about the kind of things that you know you want to see in a video or the things that you liked seeing in my videos I'm gonna get out of here I love each and every single one of you I feel like I, I feel like I'm missing something but I just I can't go on any longer. This is, I, I've been talking too long. I've been rambling. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Take it easy. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2024. Welcome to Grind 2020 more. And as always, Big Buddy out. Out. Grind 2020 more. You can't tell me that's not fire. Stop playing.